Welcome to Sparks of History, where world history and Jewish history meet. Today, we are very honored and pleased to have with us Professor Henry Abramson. Dr. Abramson received his PhD in history from the University of Toronto and has, has held postdoctoral and visiting appointments at Harvard, Cornell, Oxford, and the Hebrew University. Dr. Abramson serves as the Dean of the Lander College of Arts and Sciences, a division, as we can see on the screen, of Turo University. Uh, an internationally acclaimed speaker, Dean Abramson's weekly lectures in Jewish history are viewed by thousands upon thousands worldwide. Professor Abramson also delivers the Jewish History Daf Yomi podcast, which is a, pro a project of the Orthodox Union. Professor Abramson has authored six books and numerous scholarly papers. His works include A Prayer for the Government, Ukrainians and Jews in Revolutionary Times, 1917 to 1920, Reading the Talmud, Developing Independence in Gemara. And today we will be discussing Torah from the Years of Wrath, 1939 to 1943, the historical context of the Eish Kodesh. And as you will hear about this incredible safer book, uh, urge all of our listeners and viewers as I did, to simply go onto Amazon, click a button, and you can have it delivered anywhere in the world for free. Again, Dr. Abramson, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm very honored to be here, thank you. Uh, just a little bit about your background and how you became interested in Rabbi Kalanimus Palmish Shapiro, the Piazetsna Rebbe. Sure. Well, um, I come from a small milling town in northern Ontario, Canada. Most people say, you know, you come from Canada, so Toronto or Montreal, uh, neither and actually quite a bit further north from both of them. Um, and I didn't really get uh, a strong exposure to traditional Judaism until later in life, um, but largely through the efforts of my wife, who uh, was, similarly was interested in Judaism later on in her life, uh, I ended up in yeshiva in Yerushalayim, where I had the great good fortune of studying with Rabbi Nachman Bowman. And he pulled out a few of the young men in uh, the yeshiva or Sameach for um, Friday morning shiurim, I think it was Friday morning, uh, where we just have a little chabura in his kitchen looking at the works of the P.S. Echner Rebbe, of Rabbi Shapiro. And um, we didn't actually learn Eish Kodesh together. Uh, we learned the Shlosha Ma'amarim that are at the end of his first work, the Chovas Talmidim. But it was just so mind-alteringly expansive that I could not let go of the work of this particular 20th century individual. Uh, as the years went on and I combined my yeshiva study with my graduate studies in history, I was quite fascinated with uh, his work on the Holocaust in particular and engaged in a many uh, year study of the Eish Kodesh uh, with the Rabbi Shlomo Ackerman in North Miami Beach, Florida, where we were living for uh, oh, about 16 odd years. And um, the end result was this particular book that uh, you held up a few minutes ago. Uh, 